Video 3 for one day. Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Today I'm breaking down the second, second stage panel, Ship Talk. I personally would have loved to have seen this on stage 1 in lieu of perhaps Xenolinguistics. Here's what you need to know in 2 minutes and 55 seconds. The Carrick was confirmed as delayed until February 2020. It has a medical bay, a repair room, a garage, a hangar, armored fuel cells, and a modular design. It's surplus war stock and comes durable and protected. The blast shutters on the cockpit are still planned, and they modified the look a little bit from the concept to reflect a more anvil look. The cockpit maintains its triple suspended chairs and that second story map deck. You may remember in the past that the ship grew up a lot and then shrunk again to improve the locations that it could be spawned, plus making it more agile and more manageable. Basically, less wasted space internally and more optimized. They did a great job with the cockpit view, minimizing everything, improving visibility, and it also makes more sense with the anvil design language. The exterior more or less looks like the concept, except that the landing struts were pancaked down, improving ramp mechanics. The cargo was slashed in keeping with the new metrics down to 456. The man turrets are made to work more like the hammerhead, allowing for a wide range. The top turret is remote and all weapons are double size 4 on all 4 turrets. There are 4 drones and 2 operator stations allowing for 2 in operation at once. The sausage dog era is gone. The landing system relies on 3 legs. The rear engines from the concept were changed to 4 tiny engines like the Hurricane. They seem to be quite pleased with themselves, but I actually dislike it and I wish it would look more like the concept. They moved on to the Pisces which I covered here. A small quantum drive, 2 size 1 weapons, 2 size 1 missiles, 4 SCU, 3 chairs, 1 pilot. Then they spoke about the Kraken Privateer, the brand new mobile space station variant. Less cargo, they added 10 customizable shops, and it's not a modular change. This is a discrete hull. The interior is optimized for illegal selling, but they stressed that you could also do legitimate business here. The cargo goes from 3k down to 700. You pick up 10 easy habs, and these are meant for the shop workers and any guests. The shopping mechanics seem very simple. You define the type of shop that you'd like, kind of like zoning out a city district. Then you choose your staff, you stock the store, and then define your profit target. Exactly how it's planned to be on the BMM. They spoke about four new concepts. One is a new mining rover. They spoke about a new multi on ship with about 300 SCU. They demoed a Terravan escort fighter to work with the Prowler. They said it has double size 4 mounts. And this one caught my attention. The mole's coming out which is a multi-crew miner. And they spoke about a refinery companion to the prospector. A solo crew operated refinery companion to the prospector. One cracks the rocks and scoops, the other one picks up the bags and processes. All this seems to make perfect sense because the Orion does all of those things in one. And that's it. I really enjoyed the show. Please do me a solid and share this with your friends if you liked it. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.